And I always say that when somebody said somebody should do something, you're somebody. You should be doing something. Thank they may much. not be old enough to vote, but their message was loud and clear. Youth in Montgomery County care about local government. To what extent is the council committed uh, to funding our budget, not only this year, but uh, in the years to come? If we could have a budget for other youths to be able to work Teen Works. Dozens of students of all ages and backgrounds expressed their concerns with the county at the Youth Town Hall meeting in Rockville. Even though it's just a local level, there's so much to talk about, and I really like the opportunity to be able to really understand how the Congress or the council members are able to discuss these and find it, um, answers to them. And these kids laid it all on the table. Do you sponsor after school programs right now? How do we better invest in our future? Including an apology from one of the captains of Watkins Mill High School's football team that gained national attention for taking a knee during the national anthem. This peaceful gesture was not designed to hurt or disrespect or offend any individual or group, specifically our veterans and our police officers, because that's what people are coming at us for. My MC Media caught up with Brian McNeary, one of the team's captains, who tells us what he learned during the town hall meeting. I learned that our voice is powerful. Council member Nancy Navarro says she's impressed by the caliber of students at the meeting. This group of us students are really reflective of who we are in Montgomery County. It was a very diverse crowd with really important questions. So what's next for both the council and youth? The Montgomery County Council says they're going to take the students' concerns into consideration. In Rockville, I'm Mitty Hicks for my MC Media.